Hey Bass Geek here. We're doing a review on a topwater bait that I've got tucked away in my crank bank. You've all probably seen, if you've never heard of the Lobina Rico or Rio Rico, there's a little bit of a difference the Rio Rico is a little bit larger. That's the one I throw 90% of the time. Uh, it's two and seven eighths inches long, so it's not really a big one, but it's also uh, seven sixteenths, so almost a half ounce. So you can cast it, you know, pretty easily on, you know, about any anything you want to throw it on. Um, the Rico, which is a little bit smaller, is two and three eighths inches and a quarter ounce. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter. You're gonna need a little bit, if you wanna throw it on casting gear, you're gonna need a little bit lighter rod to be able to throw it on. The good thing about the rod I like to throw it on, we'll talk about it later, he can throw both of those, no problem whatsoever. But let's talk about the bait first, guys. I own three of these because these things retail on Tackle Warehouse for $22.90 something, basically $20 three dollars for these and if you've seen the video that rick clun talks about these baits you'll know the backstory of them and why they came about you know the original rebel pop r just to give you a quick synopsis of it basically rick clun takes somebody out fishing with them they talk about a way that they're fishing the old pop r and the big key is the lip is cut short. Now, if you look at a lot of baits, a lot of baits are designed this way now, but you'll also know that if you're really into baits and stuff, kind of like I am, you'll know that a lot of people just love to get their hands on. There's just, they've came out with them, but they're not quite what they used to be because apparently when the company stopped making the old pawpaws, they got rid of all the molds and, um, uh, all the information about them. So when they came back out the second time, they're they're not quite as good, but they've improved them, so they're better, blah, blah, blah. Long story, go check out the Rick Clone video. But basically, these things, what makes them so good is that you can work them quickly, not even walking them. They do walk, they walk pretty easily, but that's not the, the real key and not what really makes the Rico poppers great. It's that you can walk them fast. Now, you don't have to walk them fast. You can change your cadence. There's a lot of different ways you can work them. But that's kind of the backstory on them. Now, I'm going to tell you why. If you've seen the video that me and Josh did, me and uh, King Basson uh, did, you've seen we really lit them up. And if you haven't seen the video where I talk about hard bait colors for ultra clear water, this is the bait that we lit them up on. And you'll, you'll know this particular color, this is called the Hammer Shad. It's very much like the uh, Pearl Melon that I like to throw in my hidden One Knocker Spook. Now that is another reason why I think these baits are so good. Guys, something that I've begun to notice over the years fishing top water in ultra clear water and fishing top water over deep water, deeper sounding baits are better. A bassier rattle travels through water farther, okay, and louder than high pitched BB rattles, that sort of thing. That's why I love a one knocker. I love a one knocker when I'm calling fish up from over deep water. And when I talk about deep water, you can see in some of the footage that I'm showing you right now, this particular uh, Rico in, I wanna say it was just before Christmas. It may have been, but I believe it was just before Christmas. I was catching smallmouth on this over 90 feet of water. So, in the cold. This, Josh and me were catching them over 25 to 35 foot of water with this. So, and, and clear. I mean, that's a clear bait. So the deep 
it's it's not quite a one knocker but it's really not a lot of small bb's making high pitch sounds and i think that's one of the reasons why it really sets itself apart from a lot of other uh popping baits is the sound uh, the same goes with that one knocker head and spook that i throw all the time it's a one knocker it's a very big click 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 and i think that deep sound really gets their attention really kind of gets them irritated irritates that lateral line and get, they just have to come and investigate it i think that's one of the great ways now there's a ton of ways to throw it and i'll tell you what josh is a smart angler and one of the things that he did is he noticed how i was fishing that one knocker spook when i was getting those bites and it's a very you know deliberate cadence it's a move 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 you know the top of the peak and so what he did with this particular bait and this particular setup is he started mimicking that cadence so he would take this bait and go push 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 very deliberate and i mean it drove those bass crazy that day as you've seen in that video so let's talk about the rod reel and line setup. All right, guys. So again, in that video, you can see the cadence that we were working. There's so many different ways. You know, I'm not gonna show you every single way, but for whatever reason, like I said, the cadence of the walk that me and Josh use when we're fishing clear water, you can see it, you can tell what's going on. Uh, you know, it's a very deliberate, you know, nice, slow deliberate pace we don't stop the baits but we're not moving them extremely fast we want to give those large mouth time to come up out of that deep water see the bait and decide if they want to take a chance to hit it and most of the time they do now rod reel line set up what i've got this on on is the uh shimano slx dc love this reel and then i've got it paired you guys seen this combo this was probably my favorite combo that i put together in 2019 i think yeah i think so anyway 2020 yeah so in 2020 this was my favorite combo that i had paired up and put together and this is the sticks number three rod and this rod is a let's see if i remember right it is a seven foot moderate fast action okay so it's got a lot of bend to it a nice tip you're gonna be able to cast these smaller baits a mile i put it on a seven two this is a seven two you you know for walking baits generally i'm a six eight to low sevens guy that's what i like it just works with my cadence this rod and this reel combo has been, I mean, stellar, outstanding. Uh, now, I do pair it with, and I throw a 15-pound monofilament. Straight monofilament, not a liter, not to braid, 15-pound monofilament. Now, in the video, you hear Rick Clun talk about throwing it on 17-pound test. He's working it very fast. And that's, that's another place this bait shines over lay downs, brush piles, and uh, up shallow when you're just, you're, you're not twitch, you know, bloop, you're not blooping it. You're chugging it. It's chuk, 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 and it's really just spitting a little bit, but you're doing it real fast, stopping, real fast, stopping. That's how I caught the fish I caught this morning on it, actually. So the Royal Ricos, are they worth? $23. Man, on uh, talk, Tackle Warehouse, looking at those uh, Rico poppers. Man, what the? $23 for a popper. I mean, how different can it be, right? But guys, I'm, I'm telling you, I've caught them in cold weather. I've caught them in warm weather. Uh, me and my buddy Jeremy are out today, and he'll tell you, it is a high pressure bluebird, very hot, very humid, and this produced. 
uh, even though they were not busting top like they were in the video with me and Josh, the Rico produced. If they're busting, it's it's gangbusters. This thing is going to blow them away. I mean, it's incredible what it does. For me, 90% of the time, when I'm fishing uh, topwater bait, uh, I'm going to keep it to three to four colors. Some sort of translucent, a black, and the ever favorite bone. Now, I may throw some sort of chrome color in there, like a blue back, you know, chrome side. But 90% of the time, these three colors right here is what really works for me. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, I told my buddy Jared, I just didn't think $23 for a, a popper. I was like, it's a popper. It's a popper. What's so special about it? And to be honest with you, I can't even put it all completely into words about what's so special about it, but it's special, guys. It really is. It works. It works in the cold. It works in the summer. It works in the spring and the fall. Um, it just works. It works in the middle of winter. How do you like top water in the middle of winter? Get you one of these. You'll have top water in the middle of the winter. All right. As always, guys, tell me if you have any experience with Lobina lures or the Rico or Rio Ricos. Tell me what you think about them. Tell me if you've tried them out. I love them. Want to see your all's input on them. Uh, so, as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. You know I love to talk about fishing with you. Let's talk about the Rico. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, I always say, I've been saying this a lot here lately. I appreciate all your help. I appreciate, guys, I couldn't do this without you. You guys have made so much possible uh, in fishing and in my life that otherwise would not be. Uh, and I can't, there's no words, there's no way that I can ever say and show how much I appreciate you guys. But I will say it again and again. I give big props out to uh, my boy Mikey Balls uh, and me, Jim, and Debo see it all the time. They don't like us just real anglers, okay? If we're not making, you know, three-legged, one-eyed donkey picks my bait videos, challenges, uh, YouTube just tends not to want to get us out there to everybody else, to all of you guys that love to learn and go catch more fish. So guys, share us with, with your friends, share us on your Facebook page, you know, share out posts, reshare your favorite videos. It helps us out. Um, and as always, you guys rock, man. I appreciate the heck out of you.